Hello and welcome. Um, I enjoyed doing the last mod video that much, I thought I'd do another one. Um, so in this one I will be covering the VSN um, F104G slash S mod um, and it, uh, it can be downloaded from the same page that I provided in the description of the last video but I'll, I'll add that to the video, uh, description for this one. And so go to this website and you want to download the 104G and S um, again you're going to need Flame and Cliffs 3 for this to work and um, it, it's the same process again it's just pretty much um, going to your um, save games uh, into your mods aircraft just drag the file into there and you're good to go. So um, I'm going to jump into the sim now and um, show you the setup and then uh, we'll get into some flying. So we're going to start things off uh, on the ramp at Kobaletti. Um, you get two variants, uh, the G which was the one that was used by West Germany and the Luftwaffe when they reformed and the S which was um, the Fiat license built variant with um, uprated engine uh, ver uh, vertical ventral stabilizers um, and um, additional hard points and they also built um, some for the Turkish Air Force as well so as well as the Italian Air Force so that's um, the two variants that you get but then it's split down into two again and I'll show you which what, what I mean by that so you get F104G and the F104G AG um, so simply put there isn't anything in the Flaming Cliffs 3 selection that will use air to air um, all the missile variants and air to ground at the same time so it has to um, split into two so that the air to ground variant using air to ground rockets uh, air to ground missiles all that beautiful stuff needs the avionics from air to ground aircraft so either the A10 or the um, SU-25 will be used or the SU-25T uh, and the air to air stuff be the F-15C or, MIG, or either, any of the MiGs or the SU-27 so uh, I've, on this side I've got the, the G variant, this side I've got the S variant um, and if you know anything about the history of the F-104 um, it's a bit... well, it's, it's not great um, especially with the West Germans, with the Luftwaffe and Bundesmarine um, with 116 pilots killed on type, including one ground crew passenger and eight USAF instructors, um, it was found that most of these accidents were due to CFIT, which stands for Controlled Flight into a Terrain, so basically pilot error. And uh, along with every Air Force, um, they do get nicknames. Um, the Luftwaffe and Bundesmarine nicknames were Zipper and Gustav just basically because it's the G variant but the unofficial one because of the high death rate was the, the Witwenmarker und Fliegender Sarg uh, which is with the Widowmaker and Flying Coffin whereas the Italians um, the nickname uh, they, they affectionately nicknamed theirs the Spalloni which translates to hat pin um, and as for the, the, the difference in armaments, um, the Italians used theirs as a fighter bomber and interceptor, so they had two different types, whereas the the G was a fighter bomber. Um, carried a 20mm M61A1 Vulcan. Uh, this was on both the Italian and the, the, the Luftwaffe and Bundesmarine variants could carry two AIM-9s on the wingtips and a catamaran launcher f on the forward uh, fuselage to take that up to four AIM-9s and as well as a centerline pylon and two underwing pylons which could carry 
bombs, rocket pods and fuel tanks with the exception of the S. Um, in the interceptor role the M61 was taken out and replaced by um, missile avionics uh, so it could carry the AIM-7 Sparrow and um, it had two additional pylons fitted um, so it could carry a heavier, heavier load uh, so yeah uh, that's the history of those two in a nutshell um, so we'll get onto the ramp I I may show you that one but I will be mainly would be working with the F1 4G actually if I start with the S just to give you a quick walk around and then we'll go to the G and then after that I'm gonna have a quick um, intercept um, with a MiG-19 as there aren't any MiG-17s in the sim so uh, we'll get on the ramp and uh, get things going so we started off in the S and um, as you can see we have a uh, flanker cockpit or a MiG-29 cockpit, I can't remember which one's which um, but yeah um, so this is the fighter bomber variant not the interceptor variant um, so yeah those th this is basically the cockpit you'll be working with um, you have your um, guided uh, missile um, targeting screen there um, you know, the basic stuff uh, if we go outside and uh, you can see we have the extra pylons so you've got uh, the aim sevens on the wing tips uh, with two under wing pylons either side um, the catamaran um, pylons as forward fuselage and then at the back end you've got the extra two um, fins for stability uh, this one's got the upgraded um, J79 as well um, but yeah this is the S uh, won't be flying that in this in this video but if you want want to use your sparrows um, this is the variant you want to use uh, but we'll jump into the um, the G alright so here we are in the G uh, as you can see um, it's the F-15C cockpit uh, and again we've got two gauges for one engine just try to ignore that as these mods are really for f for the fun uh, fun of it so I mean at the end of the day you've got to remember that these are flaming cliffs aircraft in a in a dress basically um, but I, I think it's been modelled absolutely fantastic it looks really good going on the outside view uh, we can see we're in the Marine Flieger Ein um, livery and uh, what we're going to do is load something up on it now so um, the same as with the F-80 um, and as with all Flaming Cliffs aircraft you go into your commas menu with your backslash go to ground crew, rearm, refuel and make your selection there so we'll give it a load of AIM-9s um, Admittedly, the um, underwing pylons weren't made for the AIM-9. Uh, they're mainly fuel tanks or, or underwing stores like bombs and stuff. I should give it a couple of Mark 83s. Uh, we'll leave the fuel as is, so it's 100%. Okay. And you should start seeing a loadout put on. And again, the the startup routines are pretty pretty standard. Um, there goes the catamaran pylons with the AIM nines. Going to work our way out. Our Mark 83s on the wing pylons, and now we're going to get our AIM nines on the wing tips. Uh, so yeah, it's as simple as that really. So that's rearming completed already jump back in and we're going to start it up so right shift lima 
brings the power on there's all the avionics that we're used to in the F-15C um, right control and lima bring on the nav lights right control um, the right alt and lima sorry uh, bring on the landing lights taxi lights and then we're going to start the engine with right alt and home uh, which you should see uh, yeah here we go the rpms are starting to build up I don't believe the whistling J79 is um, at part of the mod, so don't expect any sound accuracy in this. But yeah, uh, it, it, just like um, in the other mods, um, the controls are pretty much the same as you would anything, anything else. Um, I mean the way I keep it is try and keep it as uniform as possible so that when I'm using different aircraft I haven't got to try and figure out which button to press so it's all muscle memory basically so this is all pretty much set up as the F-80 was but I've got the addition of um, aim nines this time and um, an afterburner basically and a radar Well. I don't, I'm not 100% sure if the radar actually works in this. It will do in the S variant uh, for the sparrows, but yeah, there we go. We're, um, we're up and running. I'm going to find out if this is. No. Okay, so no, the um, J79 sounds aren't part of the mod, so that's a shame, but again, just a bit of fun. Not there to be accurate, just to make things a little bit different. Anyway, I'll jump into the one that I've got set up for the air to air, and then uh, I'll get myself shot down. Right, so we're in the air. Uh, I've got an MiG-19 on the nose. I'm going to speed up and trim out. Right, okay, so we have a lock. Just waiting for the tone. shot something down. Yay me! Wasn't difficult really was that to be honest. I think I actually killed the pilot, there's no parachute. <sighs> yep. Yeah. I got him. Okay, well that is the uh, VSN F-104G and um, it's a very fun mod I thoroughly recommend it um, just for a change of pace on basically everything else that's out there I mean the FC-3 stuff gets a bit samey this is slightly different even though using F-15 um, F-15 uh, cockpit and instruments and stuff but again a lot of fun especially when there's a group of you flying about and you fancy a bit of a change so yeah try it yourself um, and if you got this far I appreciate your time and thank you for watching and as always uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one